everyone it's Caroline here from Aussie Cards and Crafts and thank you for joining me today today I'm doing a very simple card um, I needed to I needed a, a baby boy card to for my niece who had a baby a little while ago and I'm going up to see her tomorrow so I've done this one it's done basically with scraps um, the white card were scraps that I had in my white pile uh, the blue was um, pretty much a scrap as well um, and not to say that I wanted to just use scraps for this young lady but it was it just uses them up these were all scraps from um, the way I store my um, card this is blue specialty card and you can see all the little off cuts are there and when I need something blue I go to that and use it um, so yeah this is uh, what it is it's fairly thin card that I've used because it was the right color but it doesn't really matter because it's got a cover there and a cover there so it's one two three four five thicknesses um, so yeah I'll um, I'm pretty happy with it and I hope she will be please um, subscribe to my channel that would really help me and uh, give me a thumbs up and if there's any questions when you get to the end of the video please don't hesitate to leave a message for me so let's get started firstly let me show you what i have used to do this card um I'll just pop these over here for a moment um firstly i've got a six by six card base now this is not a th very thick card because i'm going to be putting the greeting and also the uh the birth details on the inside just here um it's also going to have another piece that i'm going to pop over the top there which is a textured piece so this is a six by six so a piece of uh, 12 inches along there uh, six inches along there and then score at six inch and that will then give you your uh, your card base the other pieces these three pieces um, I have as you can see I've actually um, already put some um, embossing on there or some printing on there um, this one I have run through an embossing uh, folder and I use the Pebble Rush which is Creative Expressions one. Um, I like to have ones, the larger um, embossing folders. I haven't got too many of them unfortunately so uh, that one is very neutral and not flowery or anything like that because as you can see it's a boy. Um, I've also used balloons, um, the dies. I cut all, all of those out and I also cut these out. And I cut those out using just scraps of um, the glitter pay, uh, glitter card that I had. So they were in my, my stash there, so I used those. Um, I've also used uh, two of these. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting the balloons up here. I'm going to be, and I'll talk to you about this one in a moment. I'm going to be put, popping that there, and that, that's going to be coming from the pram. And then I have used two of these nested um, patterned round dies and I've used one that is, let me just have a little look here, one of them is, so the larger one is two and a half inches and the smaller one is two inches. So I've used those two. I used the same color blue as on the base because this is going on here and then I used a white for this one and all I did is I used the distress ink and I just distressed around the side a little bit just to take the plainness off and I'm going to mount that with uh, mounting tape on there um, so as you can see it's a very 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 simple card so I'll move these away and we'll get started so first things first I am going to put my greetings in the center. Now these these cards here are five and three quarter by five and three quarters. So there is an eighth of an inch around that we need to uh, allow for. So I'm going to glue those in. Okay, so once they're glued in, I just like to burnish down that. Uh, fold again just to make sure it's nice and crisp um, now with this I actually used now where is it I can't actually find it um, interesting anyway I oh here it is I just used a, a stamp which is this one here of a baby carriage 
and I heat embossed it and then I just cut it out. You could if you wanted to, and I think I might do this actually, I might just go around and do what I did with the It's a Boy um, and just take the plainness off of it. So just bear with me while I do that. I'll just use a little bit of scrap here. And when you're doing this, obviously always go off the side because you don't want a huge amount on the actual um, item itself. So it's just just takes the plainness off. So there we go. So what I'm next going to do is I'm going to attach this piece to there. And once again, this is the same size. This is five and three quarters by five and three quarters. There we go. So really now all that is left is to decide where you want all of your your bits and bobs I think I'm going to have the balloons obviously have got to go up fairly high um, and they can overlap they're all different colors which is fine and then I will use these which are also in the die and is where you need to make sure that you're because I'm going to have these coming down and finishing uh, on that baby pram so if I were to put those over a little bit more and then I'll use use these to um to pop them in there what i'm going to do with this one is i'm going to actually use a double-sided tape if i can find it um to uh, in fact mounting tape sorry not double-sided tape the mounting tape to bring this one up a little bit more there it is I do love these terrible ones. It stops my, my scissors from getting all gummed up. And then pop this onto the blue die cut out that I've got there. Try to centre it as much as you can. Will do. And it's a case of really just working out where you want things sticking them down um and and that's it that really is it i'm going to put some sparkles on it as well but i'll just um i'll go ahead and decorate this one for you and i'll come back when i'm finished we have it so what i've done is you might have seen what as i sped up to to um, decorate this i glued these base ones on and then this one i use double-sided mounting tape on and this side i just use a little bit of double-sided mounting tape on that side so that it it lifted it up and it gives it more dimension um, i love my little baby carriage and yeah very very simple very very elegant you could use um you could put ribbon on this. You could do whatever you wanted, really. Um, but, yeah, I, I think it's very clean, very simple. Um, it's got all the details in there. And uh, I will write my message and take this up to her tomorrow. The baby was born back in um, the end of June. But, unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to get up uh, to where she lives. So I'll be heading up there tomorrow with some presents and um, with this card 
as well so I hope you like it please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel that really does help me um, as I say it's it is very simple um, I will list all of the things that I know what the the brands are below uh, thanks for listening hope you've enjoyed it and I look forward to catching you soon but until then happy crafting thank you